What's going on everybody, Josh here with Scrapyard Films, and today I got another Vegas effects tutorial, which this is actually going to be more towards Vegas Post, which is the combination Vegas Effects, Vegas Pro, and Vegas Image. And if you use Vegas Effects and render things with an alpha channel or a removable background, you'll notice that the file size is extremely big. For like maybe a 10 second video, you're looking at a gig or something like that, which is absurd. Well in this video, I'm going to show you my method of how I reduce that file size of those alpha channel videos 95% while still keeping the best best looking removable alpha key. Let's go ahead and roll that intro. All right, so we're inside Vegas Effects right here. If you have Vegas Effects, you most likely have Vegas Post, and Vegas Post comes with Vegas Image, Vegas Pro, and Vegas Effects. I've made a lower third inside Vegas Effects. It's 10 seconds long, has one picture and some text. Let me go ahead and play it for you. It has no background, so it means it has an alpha channel and is removable. And you can confirm this by going to options and showing the checkerboard and then going through and seeing, yes, it has a removable background. So I'm going to export this. Go to export, go down here to add to queue, contents. From here, I'm going to use my default preset for an AVI alpha channel. I can show you what my preset is if I go over here, alpha, edit. These are the presets I use. It's a .avi format. I make sure the RGBA channel is active. Everything else is unchanged. I don't put audio in here unless I need to. So that's kind of a special circumstance when I use audio and alpha channels. But most of the time I don't. So I hit OK. And then that's the preset I use. So go over to Q. Go ahead and hit Start Encoding. And you'll see it renders in less than five seconds. And it's totally done. Called Composite Shot 1. Now if I open up the details of Composite Shot 1 in Media Info, we're gonna see that it is 1.85 gigabytes for a 10 second clip. That is ridiculously big. And also big files like that really clog up Vegas when you're trying to edit or add lower thirds. So because we're using Vegas Post, I'm gonna load this file into Vegas Pro and re-render it with the alpha channel to reduce the file size. Now Vegas can't naturally render an alpha channel file in a very low file size, so you gotta download some extra stuff. The one thing we're gonna use is called Grass Valley HQX Codec. You can get it over an edius.net forward slash HQX. And what this does is this installs a codec that basically adds on an extra option when you're rendering an AVI format to render in this codec. And this codec is amazing. So go ahead and download it for Windows, install it, and once it's installed, then load up Vegas. Once Vegas is loaded up, go ahead and drag and drop your composite shot onto your timeline. Let's go ahead and hit yes. And from here, we'll see our lower third, which looks terrible because you have to right click on it, go to properties, Go over to media, go over to your alpha channel, and change it to pre-multiplied dirty. When I choose pre-multiplied dirty, that gives me the best results for the motion and motion blur that I've added into my lower third. So I like pre-multiplied dirty, hit OK. And by changing the alpha channel to pre-multiplied dirty, we have removed the alpha channel. And we can confirm that by going to media generator, going to color gradient, and just dragging and dropping something under there. And we can confirm we have no background on this lower third. So I'm going to delete that. And now what we want to do is re-render this. So I'm going to double click it to select it all. Go to File, Render As. Once I'm here, I'm going to go over to Video for Windows. And then I'm going to scroll down and choose one of the default presets. I've made a couple of them already, but I'm just going to show you from scratch. So I'm going to do HD 24p because my project is 24 frames per second. So hit that one, go ahead and hit Customize Template. And then I'm going to leave all this as is because that's exactly what I need. But I'm going to change the video format. I'm going to click it and then I'm going to see grass valley all down here so we have a few options and the one i prefer is actually hqx you may think lossless is good and it is but i found that lossless gives you just a little bit bigger of a file size but if you choose hqx you're not going to see any quality difference but you're going to have a smaller file size so grass valley hqx and then make sure you check this box render alpha channel for supported codecs only check that box and then go over to audio, and if you don't have audio in your original lower third or clip that you rendered, make sure to uncheck this box. Once you're done, rename it, and then hit save. Hit OK, and you'll see it right down here is one of your new options to choose. So I choose my new option I made, then I'm going to re-render this and call it smaller lower third. Hit render, and we'll see that it renders out in six seconds, whatever that was. And now if I open up the media info of this file, we have the file size as seven megabytes. Seven megabytes for a 10 second file with an alpha channel. So let's go ahead and look at the quality.
and that is all it takes to render a file with a removable alpha channel in an extremely low file size and keep the quality. And there you have it. You now know how to render an alpha channel in Vegas FX and then use Vegas Pro and additional codecs to reduce that alpha channel video file size to something way more manageable. If this video helped you out, be sure to shoot a like and subscribe down there because that'll really help me out. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I want to give a special shout out to all my legendary scrappers at the top, LMC and Hardy Cash. You can find links to their channels and social media in the description below. And thanks to all my super scrappers there in the middle and my awesome scrappers at the bottom.